I'm Joel Brown, and I conquered emetophobia at ABC Hypnosis. Uh, emetophobia is the fear of vomit or fear of seeing someone else vomit. Um, as far as I can remember, I've had this fear all my life. I could recall every encounter that I've ever come in contact with vomit or seeing someone vomit. Um, it really was detrimental to my life at this point because I'm a mom of two small kids. Um, I was terrified to take them anywhere where vomiting could occur. Um, even if it was fun, an amusement park, um, even the movies, or you know, sometimes just being alone with them and having the fear of being unable to care for them if they were ill, um, or other family members. I lost an aunt that battled cancer. Um, she was very, very sick in her last months, and I just simply was not there for her because I could not deal with the thought of seeing her vomit. When my children would get sick, it would be really, really hard for me because as a mother, you instinctively want to go and help your child but when you have this debilitating fear and you can't it makes you beat yourself up that much worse because then you feel like a bad parent when your child is looking at you knowing that they need you and knowing that you can't help them or feeling that you're not going to help them adequately um, I can recall times when they've gotten sick where I've literally been shaking like a leaf and unable to assist them and having to p depend on another family member or someone to help my very own child um, you know, as a parent, you think that when something happens to your child, your number one instinct is to jump up and help them. But that's not my number one instinct. My number one instinct was, oh my God, I hope they don't throw up. And that's a horrible feeling to have as a mother when you're responsible for their well-being and you want them to be able to count on you to say, if something happens, my mom's going to take care of me. I did not have that confidence. I was constantly terrified that if something happened to my child and they got sick, I wouldn't be able to focus on taking care of them, I'd be more focused on seeing them get sick. I thought of hypnosis because I literally looked under every reason under the sun to get past this fear because it was just to the point where it was just becoming too, it was too huge an impact in my life and I just didn't want it to continue. Um, I, I did a lot of research online and I came across um, a Google recommendation for ABC Hypnosis and I read over the reviews and went to the website and um, made an initial consultation and when I came out I felt very comfortable, um, very at ease. I wasn't concerned that it was, you know, I, I did have reservations about hypnosis in general because you see things on television and you think it's, you know, it's, it's magical or it's, you know, something of that nature. But when I came I was very open-minded and um, the major thing is you have to want to do it. It can't be something where you're looking for a magic trick. You do have to work at it. It's not just a click of a button, a snap of a finger, and you're instantly cured. You ha it's, it's changing your way of thinking. Um, I was able to do that very openly, very freely. I came in with, um, you know, let, let my reservations about it go and just kind of let my mind take over. And this is something that I really, really want it to work. And when you really want something to work and you really go... Uh, that extra mile to do anything you can, sometimes it works out because your your mind takes over and that's exactly what it was. Um, it's not more so of a, I'm in a trance and I don't remember anything. I do remember a lot of things. I learned a, a lot of techniques in changing my thinking. Um, I learned a lot of calming techniques so that when I feel, fear that, feel that irrational fear, I know how to conquer that fear and take back over my mind because essentially my mind was taking control of me. And that's something that I learned through hypnosis. Um, so it wasn't like you come in and you go to sleep and you wake up and you're instantly cured. It's a calming technique. It's techniques that you learn to change your way of thinking. It's confidence building that whatever it is that you fear is not going to take over your life that you're in control. And these are all things that I learned through coming to hypnosis. Um, so with admitophobia, obviously... Vomiting is not a, a pleasant thing. There's nothing that anybody looks and says, oh, I hope somebody vomits today. But if it were to happen, I feel as though I'm better prepared. I know how to deal with it, how to not have a full-blown panic attack, um, even to the point of conversation, which is something that I was not able to do before. If I even heard so much as someone's kid you know, was sick and they called out, I would avoid that person for a week, um, which is just plain irrational. Now, you know, you hear things or even if I'm standing beside someone and they say, oh, I don't feel so well, my instant thought is not, oh my God, get away from me for the next week because you might throw up. It, it just doesn't, my mind just doesn't go, through, go there anymore. I have the confidence now that 
it's just not the first thing that comes to my mind. And if it does come to mind, then I have the techniques that says that's an irrational thought. You need to disregard it and think of something positive in its place. I would say definitely if you are dealing with a situation that you feel is you're out of control, I would definitely look up ABC hypnosis. I assure you I'm not um, one who just looks for things to do and just, you know, I mean, it's, it's very much so worth um, the cost it was inexpensive um, it was it was affordable and they will work with you to help you conquer your fear um, it's definitely been worth everything even as far as terms of the scheduling when you need to come it's very at ease um, I assure you it's going to be comfortable not anything that you need to worry about and I mean they're going to work ultimately with you in conquering your fear I would definitely recommend this to anybody and if I ever had any other reasons that I needed to uh, experience hypnosis for, I would definitely come back and definitely recommend this to everyone.